ही गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड आई एम बैक अगेन विद अनदर रियली इंटरेस्टिंग कोडिंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वीडियो दिस टाइम गाइज वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन सेवेंटी थ्री द के क्लोजेस्ट पॉइंट्स टू ओरिजिन एंड बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद वीडियो गाइज जस्ट वॉन्ट टू रिक्वेस्ट यू डेट इफ यू हैव नॉट एट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल दैन प्लीज यू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर फ्यूचर नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ मोर सच प्रोग्रामिंग एंड कोडिंग रिलेटेड वीडियोज लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ सो बेसिकली गाइज द प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी सिमिलर टू अन अदर प्रॉब्लम विच यू हैव सॉल्व कॉल्ड एज अ के मैक्सिमम एलिमेंट्स और के मिनिमम एलिमेंट्स इन एरे एंड इन दिस केस वी डोंट हैव ए नॉर्मल एरे वी बेसिकली हैव एन एरे ऑफ पॉइंट्स वेयर एवरी पॉइंट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज एक्स कॉमा वाई कॉर्डिनेट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस ऑफ दीज पॉइंट फ्रॉम द ओरिजन ओरिजन इज ऑब्वियसली जीरो कॉमा जीरो फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट द डिस्टेंस वी कैन यूज अ फॉर्मूला ऑफ यूक्लीडियन डिस्टेंस विच इज एक्स वन माइनस होल्स एक्स टू होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई वन माइनस वाई टू होल स्क्वायर स्क्वायर रूट and we have to find out those k points which are closest to the origin and we can just return all those points in any order uh it is guaranteed that there there are going to be unique k points only and there is not going to be multiple k points having the uh, same same uh, distance okay so here you can see guys in this example we are given two points and k is one and if you find out the distance of both the points One is sqrt ten, one is sqrt eight. So obviously eight one is smaller than the ten one, and that's why minus two comma two becomes our answer. And uh, k is one, so we only have to return one point. Okay. In another example, we are returning two points. So obviously there is a list of uh, it's an array of array, and it's like a array of all the points. The constraints are that the length of the arrow goes from one to ten to the power four. Same goes for the value k and x and y value also go from minus ten to the power four to plus ten to the power four. So that's a huge number, guys. Now let's discuss certain approaches to this problem. What uh, are the approaches which we can do? Uh, in this uh, particular question, I'm going to use two approaches. One is going to be your brute force approach, or I can say the naive approach, which is sorting. so how can we do this with sorting so it's very simple guys what you can do is you can take the distances of all the points so in this case we can take the distance of this point and this point we can put all these points in a map and corresponding to every point i can store its distance as a value so key will be the point and value is the distance and i can sort all those distances in a uh, you know in an ascending order and finally re return those k points which are closest to the origin so that becomes your sorting now if i talk about the time complexity of sorting guys so you might say it's uh, definitely order of n log n which is in case of merge sort or the best sorting and space complexity is uh, going to be order of n because we are going to use a hash map right although this does sound good it doesn't work as efficiently in case of uh, in case of uh, lead code and secondly uh, in case of this sorting uh, first we have to sort and then we have to <coughs> find out the k elements so we kind of have to deal with all the elements so it's it's yes we are doing it n log n but we kind of have to deal with all the elements and then we have to uh find out the k elements and then return it so it's not that efficient of a solution there is another more efficient uh, approach which you can use in case of uh, especially in case of these questions in which you have to find out the k maximum elements or k minimum elements so that solution approach is by using heap okay so we all know the concept of min heap and max heap if it's a min heap then the minimum element is always is always on the top of the tree and if it's a max heap the maximum element is always going to be on the top of a tree and it's basically a binary tree okay now if we talk about heap there are two operations which are associated with a heap one is going to be your pole operation in which you basically uh, return the first element the top element this operation only takes order of one time complexity and another operation is heapify So what happens is that if you are in a min heap or a max heap if you remove the first element from the binary tree the heap has to adjust itself so that again the minimum element or the maximum element comes on the top so that adjustment is done by the heapify function which only takes order of log n time complexity 
okay so imagine this that we have taken heap as a data structure and uh, if this heap is having all my n elements and i'm going to just remove the k elements one by one i my uh, automatically my town complexity will become equals to order of n log n and it will be more efficient than your sorting solution because you are not going through it multiple times okay you are sorting it once and then you are going it another time but in this case you don't have to uh, sort it and go again through the whole thing again okay you can just store it and uh, k elements side by side okay so that's why i think heap solution is much better so overall time complexity of this solution is also going to be n log n but the phase complexity in this case also going to be order of n just like that of sorting because in this case also the heap is going to store all the n element okay so now that we are a bit clear about the approach guys let's go and start implementing it so first of all guys uh, just for making it much easier to understand i'm going to create a class called as point in which i will just uh, store the uh, distance of the point and the coordinates of the point so let me create a uh, class here let's create a class class point and it implements uh, comparable because if we are using uh, if we are using uh, the min heap max heap functionality in java we basically have to implement a priority queue and uh, to sort in a priority queue we need to have the class which is implementing comparable so i'm going to uh, put two uh, values into it one is going to be your coordinate and another is going to be your distance i have made it double uh, just just for the case because i am implementing comparable i am going to implement a compare to function so public int compare compare to and point p and what this compare to function is going to return me is a comparison between the point p and the uh, and the this value okay so this is just for comparison if you don't want to implement this class you can basically do the comparison or override the method in the priority queue anonymously as well but i am doing this just for uh, clarity so i am going to just uh, uh, convert the distance in i think the spelling of the distance is wrong so distance i'm just going to uh, create a double object of the distance and then compare to and then pass this dot distance so this is just going to compare the point with the uh, distance and this is basically going to create a max heap okay and once we have the max heap we will simply remove the elements which are greater than the value of k so in the end we will only be left with k elements in my heap okay So now that this class is created, now let's uh, go and implement our priority queue. So priority queue, and then uh, I'm just going to put the type of the priority queue as point. So let's name it queue equals to let's name it heap. I think it's heap is a better name. So heap equals to new priority queue. and now in this priority queue in this function basically in this constructor we can pass the comparable object but we don't have to do it because automatically point is implementing comparable now i am going to uh, run my for loop so integer i 0 to i less than points dot length i plus plus and uh, what we are going to do we are going to create the point so point p equals to new point and i'm going to part p dot uh, coordinate becomes equals to points i so this becomes the coordinate and p dot distance distance and here i'm going to implement the euclidean uh, formula in java so first uh, let's pass the uh, square root function then i'm going to get the power of point Uh, points sorry points i comma zero um i am not actually considering the origin value here i am not doing minus zero because it's the same thing right 
uh, origin value is always zero. So all I I'll just do is uh, calculate the power of uh, x and calculate the power two of y. Just add them up and find out their square root. So this zero is going to be one, and uh, just find out their square root. Uh, that will become my Euclidean distance. This distance and uh, this point is now created. So I will just add this into my heap. So heap dot add p. Now when I will add this point into my heap, automatically this compare to function will get called. It will find out the distance of that point, compare it with all the points in the heap, uh, or basically compare it with the points uh, in a uh, log n manner, and place that point in its right location inside the heap. Now, if the number of points inside the heap becomes greater than k, so if heap dot size becomes greater than k, it means we have got more than k elements, then it's really simple. All you have to do is remove those uh, elements which are greater than the value k. So I will just do heap dot pull. So in that case, whichever element is on the top, which is like more than the k uh, elements, so which is like not closer to the origin as the k elements. We will simply pull it out, and uh, finally, after this, if my for loop will just get concluded, and now in this heap, I am only having the elements with the k elements which are closer. So now I am creating my res object, which is like my result object. So in this, I am just going to put heap dot size. Which is actually nothing but k, right? Because heap is only having k elements, and then every element is having two values because it's a point. So for integer i equals to zero, yeah, sorry. So let's uh, declare integer i zero, and then for every point p in my heap, I'm just going to put rest of i becomes equal to p dot coordinate. So by this, I will, uh, you know, just put all the k coordinates inside my resultant array, and finally just return res. Let's run this code, guys. Let's see if this works. Uh, okay, there is a small issue in the res array. So yeah, so it's a it's a two-dimensional array with k as the first dimension and two because it's a coordinate of x and y. That becomes the second, and you can see that it is now accepted. And uh, let's see if it runs for all these submissions. And there you go, it runs. Okay. So that was the solution, guys. That was a better solution than that of sorting uh, because it works more efficiently. And we are at the end, we are only dealing with the k elements, and we are not uh, going to scan through the entire array. And we don't have to know prior uh, that what all elements are there. Okay, we don't have to sort all the elements to get to it. We can just put it in heap and then you know go our way, right? Uh, so that that was a video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it. If you did learn something from it, guys, then please do not forget to like this video, share this video with your friends. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Write down in the comment section below, guys. Anything you want to say to me, all your feedback is definitely welcome. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and bye bye.